Young people face an unemployment rate that's two times higher than anyone else. Too many young people face a catch-22. They're told they need experience to get their first job, but they need that first job to get the experience. Canadians want the best for their children and grandchildren. We want them to succeed in a career they love. As a father and a grandfather, I know that firsthand. Under Stephen Harper, Canada has lost 60,000 youth jobs. This is another example of why Stephen Harper's plan isn't working and another reason why Canadians want change in Ottawa. Yes, Canadians are ready for change. I'm ready too. The NDP has a concrete plan to help 40,000 young Canadians over four years. We will work with small businesses, industry and NGOs to create jobs, paid partnerships and co-op placements for young Canadians entering the labour force. These are paid opportunities to get the experience they need to get the next job and the next job. As Canadians know, the NDP has a plan to invest in infrastructure across Canada. When federally regulated airports, port authorities or crown corporations invest in infrastructure, we're going to ensure that we create new apprenticeship opportunities. And in partnership with labour and businesses, we're going to create firm apprenticeship ratios for these projects. When we work with Canada's municipalities and Indigenous communities to build infrastructure, we will ensure these projects create even more apprenticeship opportunities. Finally, we're going to make sure that our daughters and sons are protected, whether they go to work as an intern, as an apprentice, or as a new employee. Every intern will be assured of health and safety protection, and we're going to crack down on abuse of unpaid internships. To every intern out there, when you get hired, you deserve to be paid and you deserve to be safe in your workplace. Well, I'll take that. this and I'll come, come I'm just wondering it. how you would actually crack down on unpaid internships. Would you limit, just get rid of them entirely or limit them in some way and how would you limit them? Well, one of the first things that we're going to do is to make sure that anybody who is on an unpaid internship, because sometimes it will be related to education, so you're not going to remove something that is part of an education program, but even there, you're going to make sure that you have protection for your health and safety in the workplace. You've got basic protections that are not afforded right now. More generally, the plan will bring in 40,000 paid internships to break the vicious cycle that exists. No experience, no job, no job, no experience. We're going to be creative. We're going to come up with the funds. We're going to work with NGOs. We're going to work with municipalities. We're going to work with the provinces. And when the federal government, it's a port, let's say, authority or, or a bridge that belongs to the federal government, if it's one of our projects, we're going to work to develop specific ratios to make sure that we're there. But as a general principle, yes, we should be moving away, and this is what this is about, moving away from unpaid internships that are not a part of an education program. We think that that's wrong.